That's what today is about. That's what tomorrow is about. Remember the life of one who has had faithful determination. He devoted his life to breaking down the barriers of, that men erected because of race and color. One who was an activist by engaging in nonviolence. She understood was a potent weapon for oppressed people in advancing human dignity. A fighter for freedom, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, a symbol of Negro emancipation. And he must not be forgotten. Oh, we thank God for forgiveness. We thank God for reconciliation. But we cannot forget where God has brought us from. We must remember his work. We remember him declaring that God's eye was on the poor. And I heard Dr. King make an expression like that as he reflected on the fact that us being desegregated is one thing, but having the rights of all men is another thing. What difference does it make if we're able to go to school together, sit at the same lunch counter together, but one has enough money and another does not have enough money to make the ends meet? Oh, we've got to remember. We've got to remember Dr. King's speeches, the speech on Paul's letter to the American churches. We've got to remember, yes, the other America. We've got to remember the casualties of Vietnam War. We've got to remember, rise up and say, I am somebody. Remember, love your enemy. How long and not long? And give us the ballot. Yes, of course, I have a dream and I've been to the mountaintop. We've got to remember his writings stride toward freedom. And what is man? And second emancipation proclamation. Strength to love. Letter from the Birmingham jail. Why we cannot wait. We must remember that he's been the primary leader behind the major movements that have direct impact on the way we live today. Civil rights movement itself had the establishment of the Southern Christian Leadership Council. We must remember. The youth March for Integrated Schools. We must remember. The March on Washington for Jobs and, and Freedom. We must remember. The Voting Rights Movement. We must remember. We must not ever forget Bloody Sunday in Selma, Alabama of Dallas County. We must remember the march from Selma to Montgomery and Tent City in the county of Lowndes in the state of Alabama where Negroes were motivated to keep on moving forward. We must remember the movement for integration in the Birmingham Square and desegregation in the Deep South. We must remember. We cannot forget the open house, open housing movement in Chicago, Illinois, or the poor people campaign that helped to us to see that there's a difference between desegregation and equality. You heard them say, don't ever feel that you are a, a less than, but understand that you have a sense of a somebodyness. You heard them say that America has a marvelous ideal. And they should live up to it. They should be true to what they said on paper. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We must remember the life of one who has had faithful determination.